Well, hello there, this is the ugly one himself, Cool Dude Clem, just here for a flapping video. Now, in this video, I'm just going to talk about random stuff, and mainly misconceptions about me, because there's a lot of things that people think about me that are completely wrong. So, I want to tidy that up and just talk about a few other things, you know, random subjects and stuff. So, um, yeah, um, well, I guess I'll start. Something, um, one thing I've noticed is that some people seem to think I'm an angry and, well, just generally angry person, and that's not exactly true. Thing is, it's, I'm mainly frustrated. I didn't always used to be like this. Back in the 90s and when I was growing up, you know, I was quite a different person. Things were pretty good back then, but things just generally got crappier and crappier and crappier and I got crabbier and crabbier and crabbier. I think that's the best way I can explain it. I'm stuck in the 20th century. And I just don't really like the ways of the 21st century. I don't like the 21st century ways of doing things. You see, I'm set in my ways. I do things like I would have done back then. The way I've always done things. Like, I use a computer instead of a phone. And... I watch mainly only older TV shows and movies and listen to mainly older music and I don't mean like stuff from the like 1890s or 1920s or whatever. No, the 60s to the 80s, that was like the golden age of music. And for TV shows and films like the 70s to the 90s, that was like the golden age of TV. That's what I'm most nostalgic for. So yeah, there was some good TV shows and films from the 60s as well, but yeah, for TV shows, for me, the golden age was the 70s to the 90s. I don't know why, but some people just seem to hate me for liking the older stuff. But, you know, that's the kind of stuff I like, and if that's too bad for you, well, uh, it's not me who has a problem, it's you. I think one of the reasons why I'm don't seem to be all that happy is because I'm homesick, okay? I think that's the best way I can explain it. I'm homesick for the world the way it used to be. It's like I've been taken out of the world that I used to know. I mean, put in a completely different alien world which where everything is different and uh, yeah, I'm homesick. I just don't want to adapt to this modern world Especially what people have been doing within the past couple of years or so, you know, everyone's gone insane. Especially don't want to conform to that. If I do, I'll become everything I've ever hated. So, yeah, I'm just set in my 20th century ways. They say I'm old-fashioned and live in the past. But sometimes I think progress progresses too fast. I 100% totally agree. And can relate. I couldn't even adapt if I wanted to. I know I'm talking in a bit of a raised voice, but the microphone's over there, so, yeah. If it sounds like I'm talking loudly, well, now you know. Some people seem to get really annoyed when I rant about my observations and things, especially when it's stuff, you know, modern stuff. If I rant about modern stuff, some people seem to get really butthurt over that, and apparently, these days, you're not allowed to have an opinion. You know, I'm not trying to offend anybody, these are just my genuine observations. I don't sugarcoat, I keep it real. I tell it like it is. It's just too bad that other people just seem to be too blind to see the world the way I see it, the way the world really is. If you could see the world the way it really is, see the world for how, just how bad it really is, you realise just what a horrible world this is. One thing I cannot stand is noise. There's certain noises that really trigger me, like a neighbour's loud music or neighbour's power tools, especially circular saws. I cannot stand that noise. I get really enraged when there, I know there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. We had one noisy neighbour, right, who would play this really bad music really loud and Fortunately, he's gone now, but if you've ever seen the neighbor, um, the video, I hate my neighbors, or whatever I called it, yeah, you'll know how bad that got. I was so badly affected by this, with all the stress and everything, that 
it made me seriously ill. And I'm not kidding here. I, um, I don't really know if I should say this, but I know for a fact that I started to internally bleed because I had blood in my poop. Now that's never happened before. That never happened before he moved in, and now he's gone. It's never happened again. It's from all that stress. I was under such a lot of anxiety and everything at the time. Every time I would hear low frequency sounds, I would think that's him starting up his music again. Now, I've often had bouts of depression, but you know, with him moving in next door and China's finest product messing everything up, you know, I have a pretty good reason to be depressed. And, in fact, I thought of killing myself. Multiple times. Thing is, I... Every time I think about killing myself, I think, you know, is death really the only way out? Is that really the answer? And then I think about, you know, the consequences. I mean, what if I have a soul and killing myself, you know, sends me to hell? for an eternal torment, and what about all the people who would be upset if I killed myself? So yeah, I'm... I don't think I'm gonna do that anytime soon. Like I said, now he's gone, I'm feeling a lot better. Now if that silly China virus thing would clear up and all the noisy DIY obsessed maniacs would move away, yeah, my life would be pretty much where it used to be. So if you've ever seen my video, why I am an old fart, or um, I think we'll call it something like an autistic person's view of a perfect world or something like that. In those videos, you can see what I think is wrong with the world and what I think should be done to it. And I genuinely think that these are good ideas. I know some people haven't. I've seen in the comments some people think they are good ideas. Some people think they're not good ideas, but genuinely, I think if the world was like that, you know, if it was like my perfect world, you know, if a lot of things were like the way they used to be, and there was no swearing, and there was, you know, styles of things were like they used to be, you know, stop using all these smartphones and all these smart devices and everything else, yeah, I'd be happy in a world like that. Because it would be like the world used to be, and I wouldn't be homesick in that kind of world. One thing I do want to go over is that a lot of people seem to think that I hate everything modern. Um, a lot of people think that I hate synthesizers, and that's really not the truth. It's modern synthetic music that I just cannot stand. I mean, you listen to synthetic music of the 70s and most of the 80s, and that was really good. But now it's just sounding like noise. Some of these people who make modern music should listen to music that was done back then, because back then people knew what they were doing. So yeah, I went off on a bit of a thing there, but getting back to what I was saying, I don't hate everything modern. In fact, there are some modern things that I do like. Um, not a lot, but there are some. And I'm not afraid to try new things. It's just that I don't like most new things. Notice I said most which doesn't mean all. So, for instance, although I hated the Thunderbirds reboot, it was nothing like the original show, the Animaniacs reboot, yeah, that was really good. I even gave Family Guy a chance back when it was new, and, well, I think if I'd have gone in not thinking that it was going to be like King of the Hill or The Simpsons, which is what I was expecting, yeah, I'd probably have different views about that show. And yeah, talking of which, I think if I'd have given other shows like Chowder and Flapjack a chance when they were new, I probably would have liked them, but at the time, you know, you know, all these new shows were coming in and they were replacing the shows that I liked and, you know, the shows that I watched, and that just put me in the general mindset that all new shows are bad. So, if I, if I had tried them, yeah, I probably would have liked them. Like... For instance, when I tried um, The Amazing World of Gumball, I thought that was pretty good, and I know I'm only talking about cartoons here, but, yeah, I'm just 
using those as an example. Also, what's with those shows being named after food? So, that just shows I don't hate everything modern. I just don't like it when they get replaced. Um, speaking of replacements, people seem to think that I'm a racist. Because, you know, I rant about immigrants and stuff, and the fact is, I'm not a racist. I've got absolutely nothing against foreign people living here. It's just the, the fact that there's so many in the good old days, you know, back in the good old days. It was, you know, maybe one or two percent of the population didn't speak English as their first language, but, you know, since around 2004, you know, everybody just seemed to leave and got replaced by immigrants, you know, it's like maybe 90 percent of it, the population now are all speaking hooba dooba and, yeah, I, I, I cannot understand a word anybody says. I, I feel like I'm in a foreign country. In fact, I feel like I'm a foreigner in my own country. And I'm not trying to be racist here, and I'm sorry if I did offend anybody by the things I said. I, you know, I didn't mean to, but yeah, with all these, all these foreigners living here, I mean, it would be fine if there was just, you know, a handful here and a handful there. I'd have no problem with that. But with this, the population, or this town at least, being mostly non-English speaking people, well, yeah, like I said, I feel like I'm a foreigner, and that as much as anything else is adding to my homesick feeling. Now, another thing I want to cover is that people seem to think that I'm stupid. It's just that sometimes I just simply do not know, like we all do sometimes we don't know things. With me, it's modern stuff. I'm, you know, if it's, if it's something outside of computers or electronics in general, you know, things like smartphones and stuff like that, you mean, you ask me to do something on a smartphone? Yeah, I wouldn't have a clue. I admit that I don't have a full education. My school life was, well, my early school life was rather rough, and I was disruptive in school, and I had to go through several different schools until they'd find one that I could settle in. Although when I did, you know, I even made a few good friends and, uh, yeah, so I have a few gaps in my education. But does this look like something a stupid person would have up in his wall? And all this equipment here? I don't think so. Now one thing a lot of people want to know is just how I got into electronics. So when I was about seven years old, Dad was in hospital with his broken leg from a motorbike accident, and he showed me some electrical components. He showed me what they were, um, told me what they did, and from that moment on, I was hooked. So since then, I read books, been on the internet, built circuits, you know, probing, seeing how they work and everything. I went designing my own circuits, See, um, some some of them work, some of them don't. And the thing is, like they say, you learn from your mistakes. So if I made something and it didn't work, uh, have a little look, try to figure out what went wrong, and you know, it all adds up. So that's basically, I guess, what sparked my interest in electronics. Now I know my YouTube channel is generally an electronics channel or hobbyist electronics channel. The thing is, the original purpose of my YouTube channel wasn't about electronics. It was to show my animations, and my music, and um, other creative things I've done. And if you look at my first ever videos I uploaded, you can see that it is those. It is my cartoons. So yeah, I'm not sure how my channel evolved into an electronics channel. You know, I know most of my audience are fellow electronics enthusiasts. So, yeah, I'm going to keep the electronics videos coming. For instance, I've got a whole boatload of parts I've ordered, most of which have arrived. In fact, this video will probably be out after everything has arrived and after I've done a video of that, but yeah. So, I enjoy doing the electronics and my audience enjoy watching me doing the electronics, so 
I'll continue doing the electronics. So, um, what do I want to do with my life? Well, when I was young, what I really wanted to do was make video games, and I wanted to put my friends in there, you know, as characters. But, you know, I tried learning coding, and I tried, started out trying to learn Z80, you know, machine code, and, you know, it was this LDHL stuff, and I was just completely over my head. I mean, I, I was used to basic. So, yeah, that was, um, that was a no-go. So, next thing I wanted to do, um, in fact, that something I still do, is I wanted to get famous doing cartoons. Now, you've seen my cartoons on the internet. That's where I wanted to take my life. You know, I wanted to become an, anim an animator. And, well, as we all know, that didn't really take off. I wish it did, because I could be famous by now. But, yeah. Thing is, you know, I'm never in it for the money, I'm just in it to entertain. So, um, yeah. What I really want to do with my life now, and I know this is going to sound a bit strange, but I would give anything, anything, to be a kid again. Because I find kids more interesting, you know. Um, I'm not trying to sound like a pedophile here, I'm not a pedophile, but kids generally just seem to be more interesting and more fun to be with and some things that kids get to do you know some of those toys that kids get to ride on you know, I see kids riding around on those uh, little motorized scooters and uh, I think they're called power wheel no big wheel I think they're called and stuff like that I think to myself that man that just looks like so much fun I just want to do that but of course too big and too old for that kind of stuff, but I, like I said, I'd give anything to be a kid again. And I'm into more of the kid kind of things, you know? I mean, if you take a look at the wall and all the Tails drawings, I'm particularly fond of that character. That's not what some in my age should be interested in. But damn it, being a kid again is just one of the things that would make me happy again. To sum it up, I'm not angry, or racist, or dumb. I'm just someone who likes doing electronics and has a huge imagination, but homesick for his own world. <laughs>